While many people are enjoying a three day weekend and a break from work on this Labor Day, others are still struggling to find or return to work due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden spoke with an employment expert in Rockford and joins us with a look at what's happening in our region. Mary and Governor J.B. Pritzker has warned Illinois will see a spike in cases if people don't practice social distancing over this weekend. He also took a moment to wish residents a happy holiday saying, quote, today we celebrate the hardworking Illinoisans and Americans who power our great state and nation through good and bad times. Not even a global can pandemic could stand in your way, and for that, we are internally grateful. Happy Labor Day to our heroes. Now to coronavirus cases in Illinois. The state reports more than 1,300 new cases today. The state says has now surpassed a quarter of a million cases since the start of the pandemic. Since yesterday, eight more Illinoisans lost their lives to COVID-19. It's now killed 8,171 people in the state. And now to our region's positivity rate. Our seven day rolling average now sits at 5.8%. We've had six days in a row of positivity rate increases. Our region includes Winnebago, Boone, Ogle, Stevenson, Lee, Whiteside, Carroll, Joe Davies, and DeKalb counties. Meanwhile, flu season preparation is underway as vaccine manufacturers step up production. This year is setting records with about 15% more of the vaccine being produced than ever before because of demand. Every year, the flu sickens between 9 million and 45 million Americans, causes at least 140,000 hospitalizations, at least to between 12,000 and 61,000 deaths. Experts say it's possible we'll see less flu this year because of COVID-19 related social distancing. Turning now to weather, rain holds off for the holiday, but get ready for a lot of soggy weather this week. Chief Meteorologist Alex Kirshner tracks when heavy rainfall hits us tonight. Hey, Alex. All right, thank you, Alex. One man is injured in a shooting in Rockford. It happened around 10 o'clock last night, the 4200 block of West State Street, according to the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office. They say when deputies arrived, they found a 21-year-old man with gunshot wounds. He was taken to a Rockford hospital and is expected to be okay. Authorities did tell 13 W. The shooting is not random, but if you have any information, call the sheriff's office at 815-319-6400. And two men are arrested over the weekend in a drug bust by Illinois State Police. Illinois State Police set up a roadside safety check on Route 2 near the Wisconsin border when the arrests were made. Marcus Freeman faces multiple drugs and weapon charges. Quinion Goins is accused of manufacturing or delivery of a controlled substance. And in continuing coverage, the Winnebago County official accused of theft and forgery will be in court tomorrow. Officials announced last week that Winnebago County Coroner Bill Hintz faces multiple charges for using taxpayer funds to purchase gas and hotel rooms. His wife, Michelle, is also implicated in this case and faces theft and conspiracy charges. Hintz, who is running unopposed in the November election, posted bond last week. He'll appear in the Winnebago County courtroom at 2 o'clock tomorrow. And now to your Decision 2020 coverage. The Labor Day holiday is no holiday from the race for the White House. And as NBC Scott McFarren reports, the political battle over the military is growing.